Hello, everybody. It's LED Wise, and today we're going to be looking at Arrow Episode Eight. And this is a part, uh, I guess, uh, what part three of the invasion story. Well, not really part three because Supergirl was at fucking two minutes, where Flash was actually something. So this would be part two, not part three, in my opinion. But uh, I want to say this was a very uh, isolated episode because, like I said, n normally episodes they're all over the place, they're all over the city, they're all over different locations, whatever else. But in this one, they were really in one location. They were in that. Um, yeah, sort of a holodeck where it's basically that uh, shared memory machine thing. I mean, it was pretty cool. I was actually able to see some of the old characters come back. He got to be, they, all of them got to have their own little bitty uh, world. But most of them, of course, as we've seen, it, it followed the uh, arrow. But at that point, there was one part of the episode that really kind of struck me odd. That the aliens allowed them to interact with each other. Which I think is kind of a stupid idea. These people have already survived one of your onslaughts. You know, versus actual, you know, superheroes. Not people with just no powers at all. And they allowed them to interact with each other. I don't think that would have been a good idea. It smarter to go ahead and isolate them so they had no interaction with anybody because it seemed as soon as they came in contact with an actual real person that was inside that thing it kind of distorted and messed up the uh, whole memories and stuff like that so I think that was definitely the downfall of the aliens I think they should have actually taken a little more precautions to actually you know keep them safe unless they're not even out any you know whole matrix discussion where they're never out kind of thing and in that case and it doesn't really matter but one thing is really cool we got to see all of the uh, main bad guys of the other seasons. We had freaking Slade Wilson, you had uh, Malcolm Merlin, you had uh, Damian Dark, and then you had to have the uh, Wilson's like little super army soldiers people. They were in it as well, and they're all fighting. Whatever else, everybody had their little banters back and forth between the actual bad guy and their and their main enemy or whatever else. But Slade really didn't talk that much. Slade was pretty much just there, flinging a sword around like a freaking ninja, and then just kind of dying. I mean, it, he didn't really honestly say anything and I was kind of hoping he would actually kind of have some banter back and forth with uh, Arrow but it just didn't happen I mean this was a great episode really freaking awesome it was a real crossover just like Flash was and I have to say guys this was an awesome episode and of course they get out we think I mean at that point uh, like I said we could always go into that freaking Matrix argument but I, I think they're out I want to say they're back on the Wave Rider and they're actually going to be hopefully you know getting ready to start doing some major fighting back and forth so I think it's going to be really freaking cool but my my final, my final thoughts, like I said, it was a great episode. Really freaking cool. I really like being able to see maybe theoretically an alternate reality. I mean, or basically kind of what their main desires were, I guess. That's kind of maybe what created this world in the first place. So, well, guys, if you like this, hit those like button, Hit those subscribe button. Leave those comments and theories. I definitely read them, and I'll catch you guys next time.